In this tutorial, we present the basic use case of integrating a Bluemix Cloudant NoSQL database and a mobile application created with Kinetize. Specifically, you'll learn how to set up a Cloudant instance, insert a document into a database, display documents from the database, and filter the documents. To start, you need a clean instance of both the Cloudant NoSQL database and a Kinetize component. First, launch the Cloudant dashboard. Click on Create Database and give it a name. Then enter the permissions page to set up the credentials that the mobile app will use to access the database. Click Generate API Key to create a new key, and then mark the checkboxes to give it writer and admin permissions. Let's go back to Bluemix and start a Kinetize service. From the Kinetize dashboard, click Create App to enter the editor. Give your app a name. Now, drag a form widget to the screen. We use this to send data. Change the form ID of the text input widget to something more meaningful. Then provide a target web service URL, which must be copied from the Cloudant dashboard and pasted into the form widget properties window. The next step is to set up authorization. Open the request properties window and switch to the headers tab. Go back to the Cloudant dashboard and convert the key and password into authorization header values. We use the Postman tool to help with that conversion. Once the key and password are provided, Postman calculates the required header value. Then simply copy and paste the header name and its value into the respective fields of the form request properties. Finally, Let's take a look at the JSON body generated by the app. You can easily convert it to a simpler style by providing rules for the transformation. Now, only the name field will be sent. Save the settings and try out the connection. Type a name and right-click the Send button. Switch to the Cloudant dashboard to see the newly added document. Let's display that data in the mobile app as well. Add a new screen and drag a data feed widget to it. Switch to the Cloudant dashboard, copy the API URL and paste it into the widget's URL field. We also need to set up the authorization header, which is done in just the same way as we did for the form widget. When that's ready, save the settings. The data feed has reloaded, but it's not showing data yet. To configure it, Select the text widget and choose the name field from the document retrieved from the database. The remaining text and image widgets are not needed and can be removed easily. We would also like to demonstrate a find document query. This requires a few more entries in the database, so navigate to the main screen and add an additional name. Now we have two. Open the data feed request properties and change the action in the URL to the one for finding documents. Change the request method to post, then switch to the body tab. Here we need to define the request body based on the Cloudant API specifications. Let's define a simple selector that would return documents if the name is Kate.
When we click Save, you'll see that our result set has been filtered. Now we just need to select the text widget and choose the proper field again now that the results are returned in an updated format. Using these principles, even more complex queries can be built and integrated with your app. But that's a topic for another tutorial. Thanks for watching.